Welcome to this first video in a 14-part um, learning PowerShell uh, lesson. Uh, the, the concept around this uh, series is to help people who are fairly familiar with Windows, you don't have to be an expert admin, but get up to speed on using PowerShell. Maybe you've heard of PowerShell, maybe you've been coming across some challenges in your day-to-day -day working environment where you feel you need to script and automate things. Well, if you're a Windows admin, PowerShell is definitely the language that you want to learn. So <clears throat> what we have here on the screen is you can see we've got two different options, and, and, and part of these options may look fairly similar to you. So if you've ever worked with Windows, you know, you, you might have been used to the old-fashioned command shell, just uh, CMD. Well, PowerShell is really the replacement for the old-fashioned command shell. And as you can see, PowerShell is blue, and if we just bring up our run box, this is the old-fashioned command prompt here, command.exe. So Microsoft is really designing their products to be managed from a more command line um, base uh, position. And you know a lot of the a lot of the skills and commands that you were familiar with and from the command shell will translate. We could do dir, right? Um, I think we can do date in here, right? We can do host name, uh, things like that. So, uh, and and this would look pretty pretty familiar. You know, if you were used to using the good old fashioned uh, bash uh, command shell, this would look pretty pretty familiar. But uh, it's blue, so right, uh, nothing too intimidating there. But uh, if you've ever worked with Bash, you know, and you've had to write scripts, you know that, uh, you know, generally they're wrote in, written in Notepad or Notepad++. So with PowerShell, Microsoft has given us a really nice little editor called ISE. And um, what this allows us to do is have a, a really solid scripting environment and a whole kind of development platform. So what does it give you? So let's say if you do get, right, we get autocomplete. So that's really wonderful. Uh, we have our, our command search, so we can do uh, if services. No, well, like, hey, there's, there's a get service here. So it's a very intuitive way for us to go through it and kind of get learning in our environment. So but before we get into that, you may be asking, you know, where do I get PowerShell and, and what do I do with it? Well, the newest version of Pow PowerShell is, uh, is PowerShell 3, right? And, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to include this link uh, to the blog post to this introductory article and again this is just an introduction uh, this is just concept we're gonna start getting into uh, all about PowerShell in the next video but as you can see PowerShell 3 is now available it is free for download and they've got 64-bit uh, versions uh, for Windows 6 and 6.1 and you know let's just cover just some of the real basic system requirements so Windows 8 is you know really just all about PowerShell and in the corresponding server version Windows Server 2012 if you have Windows 7 service pack 1 you can run Windows PowerShell 3 2008 R2 that's the server with service pack 1 and Windows Server 2008 not R2 with service pack 2 so um, again I'm gonna post these links and you know what I'd like you to do is I've actually developed the whole course so there's about 10 minutes of reading there's these videos just so you can see and, and we can work together and then there's actually homeworks so definitely check out the homeworks that we have and the homeworks are designed to to help you become more familiar with the PowerShell environment and to really make sure that you're understanding what we're doing as we go through one last little tidbit that I want to tell you about is a great thing called a, a PowerShell snap-in and what snap-ins can do other vendors can actually uh, write um, plug-in uh, modules for PowerShell. This one happens to be for VMware. I just happen to have it on my screen here. And um, so just a little bit of a juicy tidbit because I noticed it was in my background. So do go to overworkedadmin.com. Uh, you'll see that we have the first of the 14-part video series. Check out the homework. The answers to the homework is there. And then as we go through this, all of the code samples that we are um, working with will be posted there for you. And we're going to start off talking about loops, talking about logic. And in the end, the final few lessons, we're actually going to write a full-fledged um, service monitoring script that will monitor our services on our on our systems that we care to monitor and if the service is down it will actually email us 
um, to let us know that the service on our server is down. And all of that information about the services will be read in from a configuration file. So again, go to overworkedadmin.com, check out, check out the homework. The answers to the homework are there, and it's under the PowerShell. Again, this is lesson 1 of 14. We'll have 14 weeks of PowerShell lessons coming at you. Um, hopefully, it'll be a great value, and thanks again. Have a great day.